This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine and welcome to JSA TV. I am on location in beautiful downtown Chicago, Illinois at the Maven Wave offices and I've been talking with the, uh, the founders and co-partners all day. I have Mr. Brian Farrar. Brian again is one of the uh, partners and co-founders at Maven Wave. Brian, welcome to JSA TV. Great to be here, thanks. With you, I want to talk a little bit more about the numbers. You okay. all right with that? Sure. Okay. All right, let's talk some numbers. Um, specifically, um, numbers of employees, locations, overall quantifiable growth. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that? Uh, so we've had uh, basically a decade of continuous growth. Uh, we've doubled the size of the company about every 20 months or so. And if you take uh, this year, we did all of last year's company in the first seven months of this year. Or if you add up the last two years, we'll do all of that again in this year. So very rapid growth. So headcount, revenue, customers, all the numbers, you know, lower left to upper right. That's the good thing. So I'm going off script. Why? Why the success? How? Uh, just, you know, dumb luck, masking <laughs> tape, a I've few talked, hangers, I've you to your know. Partners. I know better than this. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think uh, we are in a a tide that is rising and uh, we have p put together a group of people who bring the combination of technology skills and business understanding and likability mm -hmm. um, that clients want to work with and uh, we've gotten the opportunity to work on some pretty big problems that uh, have been a lot of fun to work on and I think that combination is uh, a little bit of gas and fire, and uh, and we've been able to benefit from it. Tricks of the trade. Um, a lot of companies, as you very well know, um, get uh, off to a great start and kind of peter out over time. But you guys have only grown, as you've already um, said, over year over year. Um, you know, what are the tricks? To tell our viewers a little bit about what it takes to be that company. Well, uh, uh, the first thing is you have to recognize that every decision you're ever going to make is wrong. It's just a question of how fast. You know, you put your hand on the stove and it's off, that's a perfectly fine decision. You put your hand on the stove and it's hot, that's a terrible decision. But you put your hand on the stove and somebody turns it up, eventually it gets too hot. It's just a question of when. So you have to recognize that your fallibility is uh, uh, something you have to react to all the time. And so you can't be afraid to throw away what worked in the past. And then the second bit, when you combine that with the first, is that there are uh, notch points in growing a company where if you don't throw away some of the things that got you to the place that you are, you won't get to the next uh, stage. And so um, some of those, we've been through some of those notch points and because we had some previous experience building companies, uh, we recognized those notch points coming and we were able to toss aside some of the things that we knew would hold us back and, and weren't afraid to try new things. Mm -hmm. What makes your consulting business different? So that's like the layup B school question. If I don't have an You're answer for that, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, th so um, differentiation is, I think, a very misunderstood idea. Um, first of all, for there to be differentiation, there has to be a legitimate opposite. Meaning, if I want to buy a fast car, I know that I can buy a Ferrari. If I want to buy a safe car, I can buy a Volvo. Those are legitimate opposite choices. Well, in consulting, there's no legitimate opposite to qualified right. or to knows what he's doing or she's doing. And so where we get our differentiation from are the experiences that we bring to the table, the process or methods by which we work, um, and the kinds of people that we put together uh, to solve problems. And I think across all three of those uh, um, elements, we, we have kind of a, a, our own, I, you can't say unique, unique means one, but we have our own, you know, uh, way of doing those things that clients, clients like. Outstanding. And I love the fact that you are um, free to, um, to be that kind of candid. Um, you know, because there are a lot of folks who do a lot of different things. Sometimes they're doing the same thing, sometimes they're not. But it truly is kind of that mindset, that philosophy, that mission that sets a lot of companies apart. And I definitely have seen that in my short time uh, with Maven Wave today. Um, so excellent. So let's get out the crystal ball. 
Um, lots of trends, lots of buzzwords being thrown around. You know, the, you know, IoT and big data analytics. Cloud is no longer a buzzword. Now it's a real living thing that everyone has to have. Yep. But what's next? Uh, smart everything. I mean, the. Uh, I mean, you can now build a machine learning model into a watch, and so. Um, the things around you are going to know more about what you want, need, feel, think, than probably you want them to know. Mm -hmm. And that's going to create a, a wide range of opportunities and a wide range of like really scary stuff we don't want to, we don't want to think about. Um, so it's going to be, I'm, I mean, predicting the future, <laughs> what's the old saying that, uh, predictions are really hard, especially when they're about the future. Um, uh, it's hard to say where all of that is exactly going, um, but uh, it's absolutely clear that um, the machines around you will know things and think things before you realize they're important to you. And that'll either work for you or the other one. And uh, <laughs> we'll see. So what about for MavenWave? Where do you see the company 10 years from now? Uh, well. First of all, you know, change is what is our business. So uh, we need the market to be volatile. We need things to be new, things to be coming, and for people to not know how to deal with them. Uh, there's an old uh, phrase: that, uh, "Where there's mystery, there's margin." And so we need there to continuously be some mystery out there, and that things that large companies are are adopting. So one, one thing for sure is we're going to be chasing the horizon in terms of uh, technology, but it's not like about technology for technology's sake. It's more about uh, how do you create, I hate you know buzzword terms like business value, but how do you yeah. create outcomes for, for people that make a difference in their, their lives? And, and um, if, if we can do that for the kinds of uh, large brand name clients that we serve, then there's just no end to the future for Maven. Wait. Brian, thank you very much. You bet. Enjoyed thank, it. You Thanks. got it. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.